Hey guys, this is Zach. So I was working on a part for a client and I came across something when I was doing some of the uh, CAD the CAD and CAM work. And I wanted to make a quick little video to show you because if, if you're not aware of it, it can make your life a lot easier. So right now I'm actually already in the side orientation. So you can't really see it. I'm not sure why this is not going down, but this is where your layers and your posting and also UCS, which is this, what you're seeing now. Um, if you're on top, this is kind of its default. And when you're looking down on top of the part, you're going to see looking down in the Z, this is Y and this is X. So anything you sketch is going to be based on this orientation. If you go to front, say so look at the front of the part, now you're looking at Z, this is Y and this is X. So anything you sketch is going to be based on that. So for what I did was actually from a side view which is this. And if you're looking at the side, same thing. You're looking down at Z now, X and Y. So I was able to sketch this here where I wanted it because at, at the beginning, this was just solid. So what I was able to do is come to uh, use this side UCS, sketch this and extrude it and cut it away. So if you're wanting to sketch different features over a part, you can just change that instead of you know, maybe if you're drawing something up on the top and rotating it around where you want it, it, it makes life a lot more difficult. So this allows you to to pick essentially what plane you want to sketch something on. You can actually create new ones over here. Right click in here and add new. And I don't usually do that, but you do have that option. So again, I was able to do the side, select this one. So anything I sketched was we're looking down at Z, X, this way, and Y, this way. So super helpful for doing CAD work, whether you're sketching 2D stuff or doing 3D models. So reach out to me with any questions about this or if you need any additional help. Thank you.